Hello friends, it's Joelle. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week K-Pop Stars Edition. And this week we are eating like Itzy. Itzy was such a highly requested group and I'm obsessed with them. They are truly the moment. They are such baddies. Everything about them is just so cool and their dancing is insane. This was filmed before I obviously moved to my wonderful home in LA, before I got this horrible haircut also. If this is your first Eating Like K-Pop Stars video you've seen from me, I just dedicate one day to each member eating their favorite meals that I found on the internet. I used to do these for BuzzFeed where I did Blackpink, BTS, and TWICE, and since then I've done EXO, TXT, and Mamamoo on my own channel if you wanna check those out. I'm so excited for you guys to see this week's meal, so let's get on with the video. Morning. It is a Yeji day. Yeji is Itzy's leader. She's a main dancer and lead vocalist. She was a trainee for three years and apparently auditioned for JYP with Like Ooh Ah by Twice. I some time eat watermelon instead of water in the morning. She likes her watermelon in the morning, so I dice them up and like to season mine sometimes with a little bit of salt. If you never tried it, you should. And it was a very refreshing way to start the day. And while we're here, I'm gonna kick us off with a little mm -hmm. Itzy fact. Itzy debuted February 11th, 2019 with a single album, It's Different. For lunch, I was really trying to accommodate Itzy's sauce preference. I have at least three sauce, mayonnaise, mustard, and bean sauce. I realized now when she's talking about bean sauce, she was probably talking about samjang or something, not chaojang, which is black bean sauce, but you know, it's too late now. I tried to mix black bean sauce with mustard and mayo. Wish me luck, I literally never put mustard in anything. Which is weird, but my concoction wasn't that bad. She also likes meat, so hey, at least I was on target with that. I'm not even gonna lie, this looks so sus to me. Mustard and mayo and black bean sauce. Did we need all of those? I don't know. The meat, safe, easy. I know this is gonna be delicious. Mm-hmm. Savory, a little sweet, perfect. You know, for the moment of truth. It definitely smells mustardy. I think that mustard just has such a strong scent that when it's in anything, it kind of like takes over. <laughs> It's actually not that bad. I was expecting this to be kind of disgusting. Okay, so Yeji is not that unique from the other members because a lot of them have salad at night. I like to eat salad. I usually have chicken breast or chicken leg. So I'm trying to find some different recipes to spice it up for y'all. So today I did a little bit more of a Japanese style cabbage coleslaw salad, which I tried to use as an opportunity to incorporate some mayo in this creamy dressing. It looked so gross though that it like didn't blend and it was kind of chunky looking. I think I also put like soy sauce, vinegar, sugar in this dressing and it didn't taste disgusting but because i didn't blend it very well it looked really whack and on the side the chicken with the mustardy jajang was not that offensive i'm so excited to eat you know i thought this would taste whack adding mayo but it kind of does taste like something i would get at a japanese restaurant you know the little side dish plates honestly i really like coleslaw it's just so refreshing crunchy vegetables that taste like nothing for some reason is really satisfying to me and my black bean mustard roast chicken honestly the sauce at first i thought was okay and then kind of the more i was eating it during lunch i was like I do not love the mustard I put in this, but you know what? It's okay. It's for Yeji. Good morning, friends. It's Young Day. Young is apparently one of the main dancers of Itzy. Her sister, Cheon, is actually also an idol in Eyes 1. She also was a trainee for five years, which I think is the longest of any Itzy member. She was a contestant on K-Pop Star 3 when she was 11, and she was on the competition show 16 when she was 14. Bringing off with some coffee, specifically an iced Americano. Before I dive into my iced Americano, apparently Taeyong normally starts her day with vitamins or supplements. I have all of mine right here that I normally forget to take, but my dad always tries to remind me. This is definitely strong. Definitely gonna kickstart my morning. I love watching Mukbang V lives and I saw Taeyong eating this little acai bowl salad combo on one, so I decided to make myself my own smoothie bowl. I love making smoothie bowls, but I realized I actually didn't put any acai in this one because I didn't have any, but I included some blueberries and blackberries and whatever to give it that nice dark purple color. So at least it looks kind of similar. My face is so shiny from sweating at my desk, literally just writing email, but I am so hungry. Mm. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but 
in a smoothie bowl, earth cafe level. The color, the presentation, the taste, so good. I feel hungry in the early afternoon. Sometimes I want to eat meat and sometimes I want to eat ice cream. I can very much relate to Young's random cravings for things like ice cream. So you know, I always keep my ice cream stash at home stocked. If you've never tried Korean or Asian ice cream bars, they're a lot of fun. I really like these Samanko, I think that's how you say it, little fishies. Admittedly, I bought this thinking that it had red bean in it. This one is actually brown sugar boba filled. I have to say though, I definitely prefer the red bean ones, but I mean, ice cream's ice cream, so I'm not complaining. And lastly, for dinner, I saw Young eating some ramen, and I love ramen, but I feel like I put it in too many of these K-pop eating videos, so I wanted to do something a little different. I decided to make some kimchi pasta, which is one of my go-to recipes when I have extra kimchi and not that much in my fridge because it's a really simple recipe. I actually have the full recipe on my Instagram and TikTok, but you basically just saute whatever veggies you want. I like shallots and mushrooms with my kimchi, and you add in some whole milk or cream and toss in your slightly undercooked pasta. It's really simple and easy. And while we're here, I haven't shared today's itsy fact, and it's that before debut, not just Cherry Young, but all the members were contestants on either idol shows or they auditioned for other companies before coming together at JYP. Mm -hmm. mm, this is just so good. I'm not gonna lie, every time I make this, I surprise myself. I'm shocked by how delicious it is. Good morning, it's Leah day. I love Leah, she's so cute. I just wanna squish her little face. Leah is our Canadian main vocalist. Apparently she naps a lot, so highly relatable. Because she lived in Canada, she speaks fluent English and her English name is actually Julia. She was also an SM trainee before she moved over to JYP. Since Leah also normally has her first meal later in the day, for now, I'm just gonna have a latte, which I know I've seen her enjoy. Mine's gonna be iced though. And then we'll come back for lunch slash brunch, I guess. So for Leah's first meal of the day, she says she often likes to have fresh fruit or a smoothie. So I'm gonna try to make something that has a lot of yummy nutrients, a lot of protein, and will just be a very refreshing way to start the day. I realize this is probably going to be almost exactly the same as my smoothie bowl, but... What can I say? The girls have similar tastes, okay? And today's itsy fact is that their fandom name is Mitzi and their official color is magenta. Mitzi comes from the Korean word, I think pronounced mide, mide, I, I'm saying that wrong, but it means trust. And it's meant to represent the mutual trust between Itzy and their fans. So sweet. I'm very excited for today because I have a bunch of snacks planned. But for our first snack, Leah apparently really loves cherry tomatoes. And she says that she has those with balsamic vinegar, with honey, which I've never had before. I don't know if she has balsamic and honey together, but it kind of sounded like a good combo to me. So I decided to try both on my cherry tomatoes and I'm going to see how it tastes. This feels like a very healthy snack, but it actually tastes pretty good, especially with some salt, with some vinegar. Leah's a big vinegar fan, so I don't know, pretty good. I'm kind of surprised that the honey tastes as good as it does on these tomatoes. So like I said before, Leah apparently really likes vinegar flavors, particularly salt and vinegar chips. So you already know. Oh yeah, baby. A little chip ASMR. Interrupted by my Slack notifications. So Leah has said specifically that one of her favorite dishes is kimchi fried rice and she will put a little bit of mozzarella on top. So that's of course what I'm doing. I love having a lot of vegetables in my kimchi fried rice. Honestly, my proportion of vegetables to rice makes it more of like a stir fry with a little smattering of rice just because I love getting the different textures and flavors in and a little mozzarella on top. Honestly, I think does a lot for the aesthetic, but is also really, really yummy. Oh, lol that you can see my phone also recording in this shot because you already know I needed the multiple angles for TikTok and YouTube. I feel like a lot of my friends actually don't love the whole Korean trend of putting cheese on spicy foods but i feel like for some things it's not about the taste necessarily but it kind of adds a nice chewy texture so i can definitely see why leah's into this one so i realized that despite all of my snacks today i didn't have leah's favorite snack which is a glazed donut so now that it's after dinner i'm done with work for the day i'm gonna go grab myself a little glazed donut to make sure that i round out leah's day with her favorite Eat. Alrighty, the bag is secured. You know, what a fantastic way to end off the day. I also thought it was really funny that Leah said she eats at least one, if not multiple, glazed donuts a day. 
So if anything, I should have gone in there and just gotten a dozen for myself, you know? Happy Yuna day. We love Yuna. She's a lead rapper, lead dancer, and Magne, the youngest member of the group. She's apparently distinctively extroverted of the girls and apparently used to play football. Don't know if that's true or not, but if she did, that's sick. We are kicking off the first meal of the day with one of Yuna's favorite foods of all time, and that is pizza. So apparently she said that pepperoni pizza is her favorite. I bought this thinking that it was pepperoni. However, I apparently cannot read because it is little tomatoes, not pepperonis. I'm just cooking this up in my little toaster oven. I realized I have these little pepperonis in the fridge, so I'm just gonna add them myself. And hopefully they won't burn. I burnt all the pepperoni. This is fully not edible. I'm gonna take all of these off. Okay, after covering up my regrets and mistakes with arugula and balsamic vinegar, I would say this doesn't look too bad. As much as I burn things in these videos, this is, you know, I think we salvaged this one. I think it's also very interesting that I'm pretty sure Yuna says that pizza and french fries are two of her favorite foods, which you wouldn't really expect a K-pop idol to be eating super often, especially because they seem so fit. But at the end of the day, we remember it's all about balance. Okay, it's a little late for a snack. It's like 5.30, but one mandatory Yuna snack that I had to incorporate today is french fries. She says that it's her most eaten food. It's all about balance. I literally just got these frozen ones from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna doctor them up with a few toppings that I think will make them taste really good. And before I forget, our fourth itsy fact of this video is that several members appeared in BTS's highlight reels when they were younger. Ryujin appeared with J-Hope and Jimin and Yuna was with Jungkook. So, you know, I'm not jealous or anything. Oh my gosh, these are so good! We really did something here. Trader Joe's frozen fries, add some Asian seasonings, you cannot go wrong. Okay, I'm finally done with work. So it's time for some dinner and Yuna normally has chicken with salad and no dressing, which makes me very sad as someone who loves flavor. <laughs> but even if I'm not having dressing on my salad, honestly, I'm still gonna sprinkle a little of salt, a little of pepper, some seasonings, and try to season my chicken well so that we're not sacrificing taste for health. You can see like my tower of pads right here that I just got at Walgreens. Anyways, this is kind of a massive salad, but the more the merrier. I am excited to dig in. I'm still a little hesitant about the, the no dressing salad. I feel like that's just a missed opportunity, but we got some nutritional yeast, which I feel like is a secret ingredient when it comes to salads, making them taste a little better. I also firmly believe that the key to a better tasting salad, one that more tastes like something you got at a restaurant, is just tossing it. Crushed it, baby. This was actually really good and really filling. I'm so sad we're finally at our last day with Rujin, who is the group's main rapper, lead dancer, and apparently was scouted at a GOT7 fan meeting. And I feel like that's like every K-pop stan's dream. She also ranked number one on YG survival show, Mix9, and had an offer to join YG but declined. So clearly just everyone wanted her. She starts off the day with ice water, so you know we are staying hydrated. So, it's a little later in the day than I expected. I know that Rujin normally has a brunch slash lunch. It's now 2.30 p.m. So I think I missed the brunch window, but she's explained a very specific recipe that she likes to make of a veggie stir fry. She includes cabbage, mushrooms, onions, green onion, and her secret ingredient is oyster sauce, which is one of my favorite Asian seasonings. So I think this is gonna be a really delicious lunch and it's great because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. The stir fry recipe was actually so good. I've made it several times since filming this video and I very much respect that Rujin likes to cook for herself because same girl. This is so good. I feel like this is like reviving me. <laughs> I admit I did kind of cheat for this last meal of this video. I do know that Rujin likes traditional Korean foods like kimchi jjigae and she did say that for dinner she kind of eats whatever she wants. So I took it upon myself to just eat whatever my dad felt like getting from one of our favorite local Korean spots in San Francisco. We had a feast for just the two of us and it was amazing. And of course, can't end this video without our last itsy fact and that is itsy means to have in Korean, meaning that these girls are desirable, they got it, and that is absolutely true in my opinion. 
I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I ate for a week, eating like itsy, learned a little bit more about the group or about K-pop. Thank you all for the love and support on these videos, especially on TikTok and Instagram as well. Let me know which itsy member you'd want to share meals with and let me know who I should eat like next. As always, love y'all, Jesus loves you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.